EarthScope is an attempt to look at the entire landmass of the United States. It's a program of the National Science Foundation, and it's literally thousands of geophysical instruments. And the way to think about EarthScope is not unlike a gigantic telescope, it's just looking down, just like the Hubble telescope that's above the Earth's atmosphere. It's about a 12-year program, and it's designed to monitor the throbbing surface of the Earth as well as what's going on underneath the surface. Well, EarthScope has got three big pieces to it. It's got a seismic network that's rolling across the nation. It's got this GPS array, 1,000 stations, and it's got a borehole that's going right through the San Andreas Falls in California. Seismometers measure waves from earthquakes, seismic waves that move through the Earth, and just like a doctor doing a CAT scan or an ultrasound, you can get images of what's going on there. You can see things like the Juan de Fuca plague diving underneath the Pacific Northwest. And as you can see from this, this map, it shows triangles representing seismometers. The yellow ones are a backbone of about a hundred different instruments that'll be there all the time, but also hundreds of other seismometers that are in a group of 400, and then over the next decade, those will gradually be moved across the United States. Having this dense network of seismic stations allows us to record and to see seismic waves as they travel across the United States, even for earthquakes that have happened at great distances. The circles on this map are GPS instruments. The GPS instruments look at how the surface of the Earth is slowly moving through time. We're used to GPS instruments in our car. And for example, with a GPS, you probably could say, okay, I'm at my house. They have resolution to be able to tell you that. But the instruments that EarthScope uses, they could tell you that not only that you're at your house, not only that you're at your front door, but if there's a crack in the sidewalk, they could tell you you're at that crack. So it's got that kind of resolution to it. We can see movements of Earth's surface of fractions of an inch per year. That enables us to not only see how tectonic plates are moving, but we can also measure the deformation along the edge of the North American continent, as is happening today along the San Andreas Fault. By drilling into the San Andreas Fault, we gather samples of the material that the fault is actually made of at depth, the ground up rock, the altered rock by the faulting process, and we can use that material in the laboratory for simulations of earthquakes and to study how earthquakes actually happen using realistic materials. So these are really the first ever samples we have, continuous core samples from the active San Andreas Fault Zone at the depths at which the fault produces earthquakes. We'll also measure what are the conditions under which earthquakes actually happen. By putting instruments right next to the fault that's causing the earthquakes, we're going to watch what happens before, during, and after earthquakes with a clarity and precision we've never had before. One of the things we're doing with EarthScope is we're trying to get information to students as well as the public as the EarthScope science is being done. And even more important than that, they can actually participate in EarthScope. They can go on the web, they can get information about earthquakes that just happened very recently in their own area. Learning how to access that data and interpret it, understand it, and then share it to my students is, I am so, I can't tell you how happy I am to have this information. <laughs> EarthScope is like a moonshot. It's exciting science as it's happening. And just like in the 1960s when we could only imagine what it was like to walk on the surface of the moon, now we can see what's happening inside of the Earth because of programs such as EarthScope.